vlog. Merry Christmas and welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Anna and I make art and lifestyle content. And this year has taken me on my own little magical journey, following lots of other YouTubers and really connecting back to nature and back to the wonderful world of, and the magical, beautiful world we have around us. So I have done a couple of the Sabbaths this year, uh, Samhain and Mambon, and as of yesterday, it was Yule. And as you can see, we are now getting ready for Christmas and they both coincide. A lot of our Christmas traditions are taken from the original pagan Yule festival. And this year, as it was Christmas, I thought I'd buy myself some treats. And we have gone for a Yule subscription box. Well, it is a witch and Wiccan and pagan and all of the above <laughs> subscription boxes. I decided to get two and I wanted to compare them. So the two companies I bought from are the Witch Casket. So they have been around for quite a while and I've seen a lot of reviews already on YouTube and I am excited to get my hands on this. This one for Yule they actually already told us was gonna to be too big for the box. So there was a little extra thing that came with it. And the other box I'm gonna be opening today is the Witches, Warlocks and Warriors box. Uh, so they actually, I believe they do two or three different boxes, um, a Witches box and a Warlock box, so you can get something a little more male orientated. Um, and this, however, I was hoping to pick one and continue with it for a few more months, maybe a year. Uh, <laughs> this company started back in February and has now stopped as of this Yule. This uh, this last month, this month is their last month. So hopefully they'll come back because I might have sneak peeked and it's very cute. So, um, and I, from what I've looked online, two very different boxes. The Witch's Warlock seems to be a little more artisan and not as many pieces but a little more pricey and the witch casket box is a little more budget friendly with more bang for your buck you get a lot more products in there and is very cohesive they've got all of their everything will be um, branded with the witch casket logo and is very I don't know less natural let's just say less nat. I don't know how to describe it but we'll take a look at what we got today. So, first up is the Witch Casket box, which I believe was £29. I'll insert price here. Um, and they do ship across the world. They've actually, I think this year shipped to 60 countries now. Um, so, very popular around the world. So, let's see what we've got inside. Hmm. So, I did open this up and just look at what the box was this year. So, this box is uh, the based on candle based on candle magic um so it comes with a little flyer leaflet um and a, they've got a bit of information about them and then tells you everything that is in here so if you don't want to know what's in here i'll leave a time stamp down below and you can be surprised in a minute um starting off there is a pentacle candle slate altar tile a cotton pouch, a positive energy candle ritual, an enamel pin, which I've seen they have an enamel pin, I think, in every box. And they also have teas in every box, is what I know. Um, parchment scroll, uh, which is preparing your candle for magic. A candle snuffer, which is cute. I have a candle snuffer, but you could always have another one. A cauldron oil burner, which I believe is this one. Lemongrass triquetra wax melt so i'm glad there is a oil burner and it comes with wax melts as well so you can actually use the oil burner today uh, a selenite tumbled stone i have had selenite before i've not got a tumbled one so i'm interested to see what that looks like an art print they have an art print in every box uh, the christmas blend loose leaf tea which is perfect for me i am a massive tea drinker and a tea light candle set so 
obviously use the tea light candles you can use those with the oil burner so obviously this month is kind of black and red will be the colors scheme of the products and also of the art so this print is by a artist called connor james art they i believe they work with a different artist every month um and you can i'll leave his links down below for instagram and things it is very nice it is just a postcard um so size not really my style of art but very 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 cool it looks like maybe um digital art um it's it's nice it's just not not my thing but i am um, i have a nice little print the next thing i've seen in this box is the positive energy candle ritual so as i know it in every box you also have a ritual it contains everything you need to attract positive energy and joy and we'll open that up so we have a white candle and a little candle holder although it's a it's a little loose and it comes with some information on how to perform the ritual and it comes with two little bags of herbs number one is mint and they come in their own little packaging um, which is really cute and branded and very cohesive and marjoram i think is how you pronounce it um so i'll be interested to give this a little go later on today probably the pouch very nice cotton nice thick cotton and with a proper cotton braided satchels very long pouch too and very cute they do recommend like maybe putting your tarot cards in there maybe even candles being a candle front so i will definitely find a use for that this box just smells incredible <laughs> um next up we have i don't know it has the cutest sticker ever i don't know if you'll be able to see that my light is too bright Ooh, ah this is the wax melt that is the cutest wax melt i have ever seen very lemony really cute i really like that one i haven't had a wax melter for a really long time so i'm quite excited to get one however i've already looked in the other box and um there's another wax melter so i'll have one for every room so a pentacle altar tile um i think so there's pentacle candle slate i suppose yeah you could just put a um like a pillar candle or something on that and not have to worry about it melting everywhere and it's got a felt back so you're not gonna have to worry about you scratching anything we then have the tea light candle set in your little organza bag there is just a white and a black candle and i believe the card just tells you which because the color of the candles can bring different meanings into your spells and rituals so yeah, a white and black one. Christmas blend loose leaf tea. I'm very excited to try this out later today. I will, um, there'll be some B-roll of me making tea. Um, I had seen somebody say about loose leaf tea, but then you have to have a tea like strainer. I have no idea. I have about four, so buy yourself one. They're a good investment. And it means you can have more loose leaf teas. Oh. Okay, so it's loose leaf tea, but it's in a plastic bag. That's that's kind of frustrating. Um, although they are biodegradable bags, apparently. So, um, I want to smell this. Wow. Cinnamony, maybe a bit of clove, and there's supposed to be, there's little bits of candy in there too. So, I don't know if that'll make it like quite a sweet tea too. I like how all the packaging is very cohesive. Uh, it makes like the branding, it looks really good and it looks very professional. Um, however, it would be nice to have a few more artisan sort of one-off originals um, without the witch casket logo. It's just my personal preference. Um, so we have an enamel pin. We have a little Hocus Pocus pin. Um, I have only just started getting into enamel pins. And I have a little pencil case that I've been putting them all on. That's one for that. We have the scroll, which in the little booklet, it did say you could 
um, you could copy the information off it into your like book of shadows or grimoire um, or you could paint um, glue it into your pages or just put it into your booklet somewhere stickers not the easiest thing to get off paper would have been nice to have this in just a little piece of ribbon or thread oh there we go so just take a look at the scroll just lots of information about your candle and magic i am probably going to copy the information as opposed to putting it straight into my grimoire just my grimoire is a little more botanical than stars but this is um this is really good to have lots of information and a nice little piece of bed, a scroll we have some vegan candies they just look like little candy canes but they've got leaves on them they're really cute oh wow that's a lot nicer than i thought it was going to be um that is your candle snuffer and there's something about snuffing out a candle or burning it out rather than blowing it out because it will blow your intentions away and um, this is really nice and heavy and is i'm guessing metal of some sort um and just very simple and i really like that it's very minimalist it's very I, I like that might replace the one i already have this is the last thing other than the oil burner itself and this is the selenite stone and when it said tumble, because cellulites are quite um, tubular, I guess, naturally. So I didn't want, ooh. So yes, it's kept that quite tube cylindrical shape, but has really polished, it's really soft. Oh, I like that. And finally, we're gonna be opening the little extra bit that didn't fit in the box. So everything came into one bigger box is the cauldron oil burner so i've seen these a lot online i would really like to get a cauldron i don't have one at the moment this is not quite what i hoped for but it is a cauldron it is so cute it's got the stars on it and there we have the cutest little cauldron oil burner ever that's so cute i can't wait to burn things in it it's really nice proper ceramic and just yeah just really nice and all in all i'd say yeah you're definitely getting your money's worth with this box and i am very happy with it and i'm definitely going to be ordering it again not just because the other one stopped their sales but because i'm i'm actually really impressed with it so and i like the fact that actually even though it is yule they haven't done a yule specific box i don't know if they do sabbat specific boxes but the next one definitely is and this one has been, I'm very satisfied with what I got. Right, moving on. Into the Witches Warlocks and Warriors, like I said, I think it's a little more artisanal and hand put together. Ugh, open. And I have already taken a quick look at the pamphlet card. And so it speaks a little bit about Yule. And actually tells you the price of everything inside here so this value of the box is 42 pound 50 and i don't remember how much i paid for it so here you go <laughs> um and again i will tell you what's on here and i'll leave a time stamp if you want to skip what is in this box and just be surprised by what's in there so first thing up is a oil burner so although i've now got i now have two oil burners uh, i guess one for my bedroom and one for the, the studio so then we have a titanium aura crystal a yule incense a large beeswax candle and a spell bottle so i i really want to see what everything looks like the oil burner has been wrapped so these boxes both arrived within a few days of each other the witch casket arrived first um, and they're both shipped around the middle of the month, or the 15th, 16th. Um, so it was nice that my witch casket one arrived before Yule, and this one that is about Yule arrived on Yule. So, or well, like yesterday or the day before. So, um, there we have it. That is actually adorable. 
I'm not a massive lover of like this whole Yule 2020 thing, but the rest of it, and look, it's got this stag bit on the back. It's really heavy, proper like clay pottery. And it is from Wim something ceramics. Um, this is really nice. That's a really, really nice oil burner and a really deep dish as well. Um, and very, very earthy and natural. So yeah, I knew I was gonna like this box. And sadly, this box does not contain any wax to melt. Um, so the other box did, which is good to have something that works with the item that you got. I believe I did see a, a tea light. But yeah, just a bit of a shame that there isn't a wax to melt in the oil burner that they gave you. Um, just seems like they could have made it a bit more cohesive using doing that. Next up we have, I don't know. Everything is individually wrapped, which is really nice to see. It's just, oh, 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 oh. The lid is not on properly. There's incense everywhere. So we have loose incense um, and a bunch of incense in the tissue paper. Whoa, whoa, strong. Um, I've never used loose incense before, so I'm quite excited to try this. Wow. Very Christmassy. It does not say what is in it, which is again, like a bit of a, uh, I'd like to know what's in there. There are some, maybe, looks like maybe cranberries and some sort of resins. Definitely a lot of cinnamon or cardamom or something. Maybe cloves, I don't know. It's very cute though and just came in a little little jar. Just, just was open. And here we have the crystal. Again, comes in one of those little organza pouches which are just really cute. Um, a great place to store your crystals. And um, this, uh, I've, uh, I did, uh, yeah. It is very, very cool, very iridescent. Um, aura, I'm guessing, because people's auras are different colors, usually. Um, and it says titanium, so um, I, I need to do a bit more research onto this crystal. I've never owned anything like this, and I am interested to learn a bit about it. Next up, I believe this is probably beeswax candle. So it is a, maybe, maybe it's a spell bottle. It is a spell bottle. These are so cute. I can't wait to start making some of these. And um, it's expertly blended using the seasonal herbs of juniper berries, orange peel and rosemary and uniquely hand sealed in wax. Use this spell in your winter offerings or as a compliment to your rituals. Add your own intentions to create the desired effect for your spell. That's really cute. Finally, we have un candle. Um, yeah, so this is a hand rolled beeswax candle and it's been, so it's been dressed in rosemary for use in your winter solstice. And I'm very excited to see these. I had taken a look online and they are beautiful candles and just really pretty. That is the cutest Christmas candle I have ever seen. And wow, look at, look at it. That is just absolutely stunning. And I can't wait to burn it. I don't want to burn it. <laughs> it looks so pretty. Honestly? These two boxes, very different, really different in their styles. Both British, so I don't have to worry about paying ridiculous shipping costs. Um, and very nice to be supporting a local company, well, UK company. Um, if I had to choose, I, but I don't, because one of them is no longer available. But honestly, I think I probably would have gone with the Witches and Warlocks but I am still very happy to continue receiving the witch casket for the rest of the, for next year. Um, I'm already looking forward to January. And I, I hope this gave you a bit of an insight into what these two boxes are like and maybe help make your mind up about the witch casket. Um, obviously 
I'm really hopeful that the Witches and Warlocks box will return. Um, they have said they might be, so fingers crossed. And I'm going to be taking a look at some other subscription boxes throughout this year. Um, like if you hadn't seen the Betterly box with the Crystal Collection from a few months ago, I will link that up above. And if you haven't seen last week's video where I went crazy Christmas green hair, go check that out as well. So please, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, don't forget to subscribe with that red button down below. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Yule. And I will see you very soon. We've got set up next year's journal, which I'm very excited for. Uh, I feel like this year has been a year of discovery in my uh, stationary needs and next year's journal is looking mighty delicious in my mind and hopefully I've got some sneaky presents under this tree for me that are going to help with that creation. So I will see you on the next one. Keep safe, keep smiling.